Hello guys and welcome back to another Tweaker Man video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a clipping capacitor to a lead out capacitor and the reason why I'm doing this is because I've bought these Nichicon KG gold tune capacitors for the upgrade to the Roxanne K3 DAC power supply and the holes are in the wrong place these won't fit like this so i need to convert them into a lead out so uh, very simple and easy but for any newbies out there that want to know how to do this um it's coming up now first of all we need our lead out wire so i have lots of wire hanging about so I'm using a 0.6 millimeter, 10% silver cladded copper wire. Okay, this is uh, four nines copper. So um, silver cladded. So what we need to do first is we need to cut a couple of lengths of this off. First of all, so we'll just chop it there. And then we'll chop it in the middle somewhere. Okay. And then we need something to roll the wire around. So I've got a tiny little um, jeweler's screwdriver here. So what we want to do is we just want to roll it around that slightly. Like that. So we've got it like that with, a, with an eye there. Okay, we can snip the little tiny bit off there at the back there. A bit more. Okay, so we need two of those. So we'll make another one up as well. Just twist that around like that. Now the problem is sometimes they don't make the, the, the values that, that you're after in a lead out cap, <clears throat> only in the snapping type which is a tad annoying in the certain capacitors you want to use. So we've got two of them there now. So first of all, now we need to turn on our, our soldering iron. Okay. And now the next process is to clip off these snapping prongs here. So we're just going to get our wire snippers here. Just snap that off so it don't fly off everywhere okay again snap that off there and now we've cut down the snapping lugs there to uh to fit into the circuit board right we need to now connect these up so where the little eye goes we want to push it over to the remaining part of the lug there, um, or the snapping part. Get our soldering iron and our solder. Just put a dob of solder on there. Leave it for dry for a second. And there we go. We'll just get our prong up there, straighten it out a bit. Okay, we're going to do the same with the other side now. We'll just push that over. Very difficult on a camera to show this that easy. That's it. We've got that over there like that. Just drag that to the side a little bit. Just fall it off there. Sometimes you might need to tighten up the little ring there, the little eye. Just get your finger and just pull it around slightly more. There we go. So you want it to fit nice and tight on there. Okay, that's on there. Now we just want to solder that off as well. That's it. Make sure it's not too hot before you pull it up. Okay, you can leave these 
wires just like this now okay or we can be politically correct and cut them so this one would be shorter indicating the negative side of the capacitor and there we go that is how you convert it into a lead out capacitor opposed to a snapping type it's pretty easy now when it comes to fitting these into the circuit board i'll be dobbing a bit of hot melt glue on those as i seat them down into the circuit board it will just help to hold them in place so i chose these kg <clears throat> nichicons uh, because i've done a lot of re research and reviews on them and, and uh, i think they're going to do great in the roxanne k3 dac now i was going to also use with them the standard audio note caps uh, which are already lead out ones but I really wanted to keep all the caps in the same make. So I've ordered another nine of these uh, Nichicon KG Gold Tune caps. And they should be turning up this morning. So I shall prepare those because they are clippings as well. And um, hopefully I'm going to get this video done this week on the upgrade to the Roxanne K3 DAC power supply. So, um, I think that's it for this video. It's only a quick one today. Thanks for watching another Tweaker Man video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video. And thank you for watching, guys.